Hello everyone. So today we will revise a few RC circuits that has been already explained in in this YouTube channel. But that video was in Hindi. So I thought I should bring one more video, and this video will be in English. Okay. So these are uh, six circuits. So I will explain all these six circuits, but I will be a bit faster. Okay. I will be a bit fast. Okay. So moving on to the first question. This is very basic circuit. So at t equals to zero, the capacitor is having no uh, for for the first one. So at t equals to zero, the capacitor uh, the value of uh, V naught is zero because the capacitor is having no charge, and the value of current at t equals to zero is V i by R V by R actually V by R V by R. Now because of this current, the capacitor starts charging and it will charge until the current gets zero. Now when will the current gets when now when will be the current value will be zero? The current value will be zero when the capacitor is charged to V volt. So when the capacitor is charged to V volt, the value of current flowing through the resistor will be zero, and the current flowing through the capacitor will also be zero. So it will charge from zero to V in. Okay. So this is very basic circuit. Now coming on to this one. So initially there is no charge on capacitor, so the uh, V out uh, output value is equal to the input value only. So the output is V only at t equals to zero. Now Now at the current at t equals to zero is V i by R again V i by R. Now because of that current the capacitor starts charging and it it charges to uh, uh, it gets charged to uh, the value of input that is equals to V. So at infinity the charge will be V only. Okay. And so what will be the output voltage as t equals to infinity? It will be zero. So it will go from T uh, from V to zero, uh, and you can also also see it like this, uh, like uh, the general way we do it. Like at T T equals to zero, the capacitor behaves as, as short circuit, so V V not is uh, V V not is equals to V I, and at T equals to infinity, the infinity the capacitor acts as open circuit, so V not will be zero. So you can see it like th that. Well. Okay. Now in this question, in the third circuit, at T equals to zero, the capacitor is shorted, so V not is zero. Now at T equals to infinity. The capacitor is open circuited. So, what what is the V not value? It's V i by two, okay? Not V in because it it is open circuit. So, the circuit is something like this. V in. So V out is V in by two, okay? So the circuit charges. Uh, so what is the waveform from zero to V i by two, okay? Now in this one, fourth at t equals to zero, this is short circuited. So the V in travels to V out because it is short circuited. So V out is V in only. And at t equals to infinity, this is open circuited. So V out is V in by two. So the output goes from V i to V in by two. I should do it here. From V V to V by two, so this is the output wave. V to V B V by two. Now, what about the value of uh, capacitor voltage? I am asking about capacitor voltage. Okay. So so initially there was zero charge on capacitor, and at infinity, whatever the amount of charge the resistor is having, the same amount of voltage uh, is uh, this capacitor is having. So the, what is the voltage that equals to infinity at this resistor? It's V by two. So from zero to V by two it charges. So according to that, the uh, V output V output value goes from V to V by two. So these are very simple circuits. Now this one is a bit interesting problem. Okay. So now in this circuit at t equals to zero, what do you see? Both the capacitors are shorted. Okay. Now both the capacitors are shorted. So V out should be zero. Okay. No, V out should not be zero. Okay. Now you uh, let uh, let me draw the circuit again. At t equals to zero, the complete circuit is shorted. Okay, the complete circuit and V in, and this is V out. Now, as per this ground, V out should be zero. Now, as per this V in, V out should be V i. Okay. Now the complete complete circuit is shorted. So, what is the what amount of current is flowing in this circuit? Infinity. The complete circuit is shorted. When the complete circuit is shorted, there would be infinite amount of current. And when there is infinite amount of current, the capacitor doesn't follow its basic property. What is the basic property of capacitor? That it uh, stores the charge. Like uh, Vc zero minus should be equals to Vc zero plus. 
but not here. Here, whenever there is infinite amount of current, the capacitor doesn't store the charge. I have already explained the reason in in the previous video uh, where I applied a impulse input at the input. So I explained the reason there. So I will not be explaining the reason here, but I will tell you that here Vc zero minus is not equals to Vc zero plus. Now what you not equals to zero. Now now what you will do? You will simply divide the voltage in capacitance. In inverse proportion of capacitance, so we have so a circuit would be something like this at t equals to zero. Okay, C C V in and V out. So V out will simply be now. Let us assume for a time being, for time being, this is C one, this is C two. So V out should be C one upon C one plus C two into V in. So V out would be V in by two. So this is at t equals to zero. Now let me explain you one more thing. Okay. Now, what if I ask you what is the frequency content at t equals to zero? At t equals to zero, what is frequency content? What will you say? Omega equals to zero, omega equals to some values, or omega equals to infinity? At t equals to zero, the frequency content is omega equals to infinity, not omega equals to zero. Why? Now let us see. See, assume uh, this is a sine wave. What is its frequency? Omega. Now, if I make the sine wave something like this. so what will be the frequency greater than omega because uh, the number of rounds it is having in one cycle is increasing so the frequency is increasing now if i make the circ like this now this will be very greater than uh, very very greater than omega now if i if i make it like this only like from here only it is increasing so what will be the frequency here omega goes to infinity or you can see the the there is abrupt change now whenever there is a abrupt change there is infinite frequency content so at t equals to 0 there is infinite uh, 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 there is infinite amount of frequency okay now the circuit would think that uh, some omega equals to in infinity amount of uh, frequency is applied to its input so now let us see we have a parallel combination of r and c here okay now what is the amount of uh, impedance provided by the capacitance if the frequency is infinity 1 upon j omega c that's the impedance it, it provides so uh, the frequency is very high so the impedance is very very low now in the parallel combination uh, what is dominant the lower impedance or the higher impedance the lower impedance because what will the uh, what will be the parallel combination of, uh, of 1000 and 2 it will be near near nearly 2 okay so the low impedance is uh, effective in parallel combination so this parallel combination of r and c can simply be reduced to c and r, something like this so this this circuit will reduce to this circuit only okay now what if this, this was a series combination like this now the at t equals to 0 for pulse input it will reduce to this circuit because in series the capacitance will be the resistor will be dominant but in parallel the capacitance is dominant at t equals to 0 only now here what is the frequency content omega equals to 0 okay now here the frequency content is 0 so now now uh, what is dominant the resistance is dominant because at omega is equal to 0 capacitance provide infinite impedance it means very high impedance so uh, so in this r and c parallel combination the the resistance is dominant so at omega is equal to 0 the circuit will be something like this okay so for t equals to 0 what we are having the v output value is v by 2 at t equals to infinity this will be show, uh, open circuited and this will be open circuited so what will be v not v not will be zero only because open circuited so there is no current and no current then zero will travel from here to here so v v out will be zero so what is the output wave form v not so v not is from v by 2 to zero so this is the output wave form okay from v by 2 to zero now they may ask you uh, what uh, what is the voltage across this capacitor so the the voltage across this capacitor is v by 2 from uh, from v by 2 to 0 it is reducing and what about the voltage across this capacitor now you draw the waveform by your own the voltage across this capacitor 
so now for time being le let us give the name c1 so what about the voltage across c1 okay so at t equals to 0 for c1 at t equals to 0 we are having v not uh, vc1 equals to at t equals to 0 v by 2 only i i, I explained this uh, concept here okay and now at t equals to infinity what is the voltage across c1 it's v why v because at t equals to infinity it is uh, acting as open circuit so at this end we are having v voltage and at this end we are having zero voltage so uh, the at t equals to infinity the voltage across capacitor is v so so for v c1 what is the waveform of v c1 from b by 2 to v so it increases from b by 2 to v okay so that's how you realize this circuit okay now you can draw the output waveform for this circuit by your own so at t equals to 0 uh, I should name it C. So at t equals to zero, how will the circuit circuit look like? The circuit will look like this. Okay, C C V in, V out. Again, so at t equals to zero, V out is V by two, and at t equals to infinity. At t equals to infinity, this will be open circuit and this will be open circuited as well. So the V in travels from this register to output. So at t equals to infinity, V naught is V. Now how did I write that? At t equals to infinity, this will be open circuit and this will be open circuit. So circuit will reduce to something like this. V in and this is ground. So there is no current. So V i will travel from this register to output. So V, v out is equals to V in. So V out equals to V. So the waveform looks like this from V by 2 to V. Okay. So these are some important examples that are asked in every interview almost. Okay. So you should know this. So now, now you know, don't need to uh, think like this, uh, like uh, 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 the circuit will reduce to capacitance. Uh, uh, you don't need to think like that. You, you will simply see uh, at t equals to zero, we will short circuit the capacitance. So uh, uh, you simply short circuit it. Now you see. Uh, uh, what what should be the V naught value? V naught value is zero a, as per ground, and uh, V naught value is V i as per applied input. So there is uh, some invalid case of KCL KVL. So if there are some lows, uh, if there are some lows, uh, if the circuit is not uh, following the basic rules, then you should see there should be abrupt change of voltage. Now what if the circuit was like this inductor register and register and v in and v out r l and l uh, and now at t equals to infinity what should be v naught value if they have asked you this this problem so what we, what will you do you will simply uh, at t what will we what uh, what do we do in inductor at uh, uh, in in inductor we short circuit the induct in inductor Shit. look i am really sorry because i i stammer a lot when i talk in english eh, because i am not habitual of talking in english so uh, you must be f uh, facing some problems but uh, i am trying my best to uh, make the content in english because uh, many people don't understand hindi eh, so they uh, face the problem okay pl please please bear it uh, I'm really sorry that uh, I can't make uh, efficient videos in, in English. I'm efficient in Hindi, but not in English, so I can't help much. Uh, okay, so what I will uh, for, so what I was explaining, I was explaining that uh, at t equals to infinity, what will you do? You will simply short circuit these uh, inductor because that's what we do in induct inductors. So uh, the circuit will again be shorted. The circuit will again be completely shorted. So uh, again, the V out value should be zero or V i. So again, the rules are being uh, broken. So again, you should uh, again you should divide the voltage only as per the capacitance uh, as per the inductance value. So V naught will be V i by two. So that's how you should see the circuits. Okay. So let me revise the uh, all the circuits once again. These were simple problems. Uh, we restudy it in third semester, and in this one you see. Uh, initial 0 and infinity v by 2 and this in this one you see initial v at infinity v by 2 
now in this one you see there is infinite amount of current flowing through the circuit so you need to divide the voltage so initially v by 2 and at infinity it goes to 0 okay now in this one at uh, t goes to uh, at t goes to 0 again the uh, infinite amount of current is flowing so you again divide the voltage at t goes to 0 you are having v by 2 and at t goes to infinity you are having v okay so these are the equations okay thank you and uh, if you uh, if you want to put some suggestion you can put the suggestions and uh, I, I make sure i will improve my english okay thank you